and basically I had beer and I tasted the beer and before you know it, right, before you know it, I'm basically waking up so early that I feel so sick from this beer that I had the night previously or the morning previously. Hello everyone and welcome back to the James Rambling Show, coming at you live on Friday night. Tonight's your host, James Bay. Hello, welcome back to the James Rambling Show. Yet another episode of this show. This show where I just ramble at you for 10 to 20 minutes. What am I actually going to talk about today? So, I've got something big planned for this episode. And the thing I'm going to be talking about is drinks. You've heard me talk about food before, right? You've heard me talk about food and my opinions on food. But that was more of a hot takes sort of episode where I talked about my hot takes and food. But this time it's just going to be kind of like my opinion on drinks. It's not going to be hot takes. Because hot takes is just like some absolute controversial stuff. In this episode, it's not going to be that controversial. And I thought, uh, why not? Why not make a drinks episode, right? If you're going to talk about food, why don't you talk about drinks? Because the thing is with drinks is... When you have a drink, you have food as well to complement that. Because when you're chewing on meat especially, right? When you're chewing on meat and then you, and it's stuck in your teeth and stuff like that, you want to have a drink that complements that so then you can get rid of it and then it refreshes your mouth and stuff. I'm, I'm going to start... So the first drink that I'm going to talk about and the sort of genre of drinks I'm going to talk about, that's was sort of my segue, but yeah. The, the, the type of drink that I'm going to start off with is like those sugary drinks and those energy drinks that you, that you see in stores. So the first kind of drink, sugary drink that I can think of is Coke. Coke. When you think of Coke, it's this liquid where you have black stuff in it and it's all fizzy and it just fizzes up and it's been proven that it's not that good for you and that kind of thing. I actually have an empty glass or an empty bottle or an empty can or whatever you want to call it of Coke right here because I actually had Coke today and it's not like... It's not like I'm some coke addict or anything. I I didn't come here to act like a drug addict or anything, okay? This is the drinks episode. This is not a drug, like a drug scheme. We're not doing drugs on the James Rambling Show. Do you think we're going to do drugs on the James Rambling Show? Did Did you come here... Did you sit down? Did you did you scroll through YouTube? Did you go all the way this way to think that I would be talking about drugs? But I talked about weed. But I talked about weed. So it is does that mean I'm a hypocrite? Oh, oh, hypocrite, hypocrisy, hypocrisy. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps I am a hypocrite, a hypocrite. And, and I am wrong that I do do drugs on the side. And, and, and that's what I do more than a podcast. But yeah, Coke is Coke has just been one of these things that that I have at, like, the last time I had Coke, right, was today. But before, like, before, like, Friday or Thursday, the last time I had a Coke was, like, in April. I want to say, like, in April... Because there's, these, there's been these times when I have coke in the, in the fridge, right? Every time I have coke in the fridge, my mum buys it and stuff like that. And there's a certain point where the fridge runs out or the, there's barely any cans in the fridge. And so I don't have any more cans to have. And and they go by, they go away pretty fast because I, I do drink coke a lot. Well, I would like to say that I do drink coke a lot. Now, I I'd... Now, I don't think that it's a good thing that I have drunk so much coke throughout my life. Like, I mean, I've also drank, I've also drank, like, I've also drank Pepsi as well. Pepsi has been a drink that I have personally 
had like a lot of a lot of i've had a lot of cans of pepsi before i just like because it actually in scotland right i used to go to this place called the co-op and i think i could see pepsi and i used to drink pepsi a lot and if i was if it fires to say right like pepsi and coke they're just like they're kind of just like the sort of the same sort of deal it's just fizz and and i could be that a can or a, a bottle or a and stuff like that it's it's nothing like special but on the odd occasion i feel like having a can of coke can of pepsi on the odd occasion is better than every single day like if you have a drink like that every single day it's just gonna your teeth is just gonna end up rotting and and i've never actually been to the dentist when it comes to this because like, you because there's there's people that have drunk these sort of cans so dang much that like they are gonna go to the doctors or the dentist i should say and actually you know get a sort of get their teeth fixed out and that kind of thing but that's not came to the point but i've actually had yellow teeth i've had yellow teeth before and i don't know if you can tell by if you can tell if i have yellow teeth or not but i have had times when you know i've had times when i just boy because i've drank i've consumed so much coke in one day that i haven't actually decided to brush my teeth as much and that just shows to james that you james you don't have decent hygiene when you also probably risk having a shower to film a podcast at like um i don't know 10 o'clock so yeah that's kind of my thoughts on the fizzy side of things however i will say before before we go into energy drinks before we go into any drinks there's this one drink that i really like and it's it's iron brew now people are like what's iron brew do you brew iron and you drink it no iron brew is basically this scottish drink and it's it's like orange and that kind of thing like i think of that think of fanta in a way but it's kind of different because i mean it does taste like a stereotypical uh a stereotypical fizzy drink but because of living in scotland for so long because of that kind of thing i've always i've actually liked iron brew for the longest time it's been one thing that i've really enjoyed and i just i i don't have it as much as i used to but whenever i would have iron brew it was very very good i remember just loving iron brew so yeah that's kind of that's kind of my gist here with sort of soft drinks i mean i guess that's kind of what you want to call it not just fizzy drinks because in new zealand they call it fizzy they call it fizzy they don't call it soft drinks or sugary drinks like in the uk so yeah like that so energy drinks right i i i know i'm sorry if you if i was rambling there but a lot goes through my head when i do this sort of thing so sort of just doing that makes me want to talk a lot more than just being on the show doing the show for so a long a bit of a long time has also helped that so energy drinks do i do i actually drink energy drinks that's the question you want to ask before you talk to me about energy drinks because plot twist is i don't drink energy drinks who would have thought who would have actually thought you've never seen me drink an energy drink on this show i never personally mention these sort of drinks so it'd be kind of ridiculous if i myself were to have an energy drink and but yeah this is so good this is so good i haven't had it so there's monster v there's v this drink in new zealand I think maybe cronin will like that i mentioned that so there's monster v there's also red bull there's a lot more I, I'm, I'm sorry if i couldn't mention like 10 hundred uh 10 hundred energy drinks because i don't drink that them that much now my perce- because of that now, now, now my perception or because of that right my perception on energy drinks is kind of different since i've not had it a lot because the thing is right like with energy with with 
like soft drinks. It's something that's very, very sugary and unhealthy for you. But here's the thing with with energy drinks. Now, to my knowledge, basically energy drinks make you like it's worse for your heart. There is more damage that that is done to your heart, and there may if there's a heart doctor watching this, I don't think. You'd, you'd, you can fact check me on this one because, mate, I don't know that much about heart, hearts and stuff like that. I know that heart is a big thing when you try and, when you try to live, be, being, having a heart is important and heart, having a heart is very important for love and that kind of thing, whatever. But yeah, dude, I think wet energy drink, I just, yeah, just, I've heard stories that energy drinks are really bad for your heart. And they can and they can lead to heart disease, heart attacks, and they do a lot of things to your body. And I, and I've never really I've never thought of having energy drinks. I've, there's no there's been no motivation around me to where I want to have an energy drink. I've I've not had like a lot of friends that are like yeah I just love Red Bull yeah I just love V yeah I just love Monster. I mean there's Cronin, but there's not a lot of people that that like energy drinks. So that's kind of why I've I've never been like this enthusiast of energy drinks man i've just never really liked energy drinks so with that in mind i've I've talked about soft drinks energy drinks but what else is there to cover well i'm from scotland right i'm from scotland and where is that in the world that is the british isles and the British Isles is known for tea, 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 tea. Yes, you heard me correctly. The British Isles is known for tea. This beverage where you put sugar, I put a tea bag in sugar. You have the kettle, you boil the kettle, and you do that kind of thing, and you have tea, and you just have tea so much. That you're like, yeah, yeah, we're tea drinkers. We we were the we with the queen. We drank tea. Well, as I sip tea, I look down at people, and 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 that kind of thing. Now, actually, th- I had an epiphany recently, or it may have been a reoccurring p- epiphany, but I learnt that like like Americans and Canadians with tea. Or especially Americans with tea, and especially if we're talking about milk with Canadians, right? Let's start off with the fact that Americans microwave like water for their tea. They microwave water for the tea. Who, 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 who does that? Okay, you have the electronic tea kettle sitting there, and you decide, you decide to put that in the microwave. Jokes aside, America actually has these kettles where they literally, it's impossible for them to actually have tea that's like more than serving more than two people. So that's kind of why they do it, even though like it's still very cool. It's still a very weird sort of niche they have, sort of thing they realise they want to do. It's a weird sort of thing because traditionally, being from the UK, I know that I'm going to boil this kettle and it's going to be in a kettle and it's not going to be on the stove. It's going to be on that stand where the kettle is. Not on a stove and not microwave and water for tea, man. That is not the way to do it. And can, can let's go back Canada. So I mentioned the ca- the Canada milk incident. Okay, this is what I like to call it because you milk in a bag, a, like milk in a plastic bag, we're not talking about just a milk, like outdated milk, because my outdated milk is just, would be very terrible, but Canadians, Canadians have milk in bags, and I looked into this and there was a meme about it, I, was like, I thought this was an actual joke, but it's a thing where Canadians, they have milk in bags, and I've, I've not really looked into why they put it in bags, but just the fact that they put it in a bag, and they don't put it in a carton, and, and like, it's just, what? What? Milk is not, a, you don't drink milk from a bag, right? That, that You don't do that. 
that's like try that's like trying to put water in a crisps or like a chip bag like the chips or the potato chips like if you put water in a potato chip bag for example right just the same potato chip because so it's and this more understandable so if you put a potato chip or it put some water in a potato chip bag and you try to drink that that's gonna get all over you and so if you drink milk in a bag it's gonna get all over you whereas if you drink milk in a glass it's not gonna get all over you sure you might make a you might have some a little milk, milk mustache but you're not gonna get it all over you and you're not gonna have a like a wet bag you're touching there's not gonna be any of that and so because uh, just Canada with this sort of thing it is absolutely crazy how a country would just do that and make it acceptable. Like this is just this is just stepping on British customs right here. Like you're telling me you're gonna put milk in a bag, a thing. Milk is this thing that's very very British because they've got tea as well. You mix the tea and milk together to form that tea kind of thing and the thing the thing is with tea right i actually never knew how to make tea for the for the longest time and i actually never i was not that into tea in general and then it took a little while when i was very into it i was like what james you're from Brit- you're from britain basically so basically that means you must have loved tea for a long time well jokes on you I loved apple juice as a kid. I loved apple juice. And I only drank apple juice for the majority of the time. And I never I never mentioned like morning drinks, but I, I used to just be so obsessed with apple juice. Apple juice was this thing where I just loved it. I just kept drinking it all the time. And I used to have I used to have apple juice in those teacup style glasses. And I like I put tea and apple juice together. I know I don't do that. I don't do that. I had some weird mixtures in the hot takes on food episode, but I don't do that with my drinks. I don't usually do that. And you know, that's the sort of things here. I just completely just went so much on a tangent that I forgot to mention this one this one true story I had with beer. So I didn't even mention alcohol. That was one of the one of the most important things I forgot to mention. So alcohol it's like vodka, beer, but the story is, right, I'm, I, I want to tell you this story, this little story, story time with James, guys. So, there was this one time when I went camping, right, and basically, I had beer, and I tasted the beer, and before you know it, right, before you know it, I'm basically waking up so early that I feel so sick from this beer that I had the night previously, or the morning previously, or whatever, and I just felt so sick in that tent, and I wasn't even, like, at the right age to drink beer, I was just handed this beer, and that kind of thing just happened, and I just, I just felt so sick, and then that just happened, and that kind of thing just happened, it was so insane, and I also drank whiskey this one time, and I was a Scottish person, this is understandable, that I would drink whiskey and that kind of thing would happen and that's just whiskey whiskey was just this one thing that I just had a little sip of and then that sort of thing happened so I hope you enjoyed this episode of the James Ramblin show this was a long episode I talked about drinks I talked about drinks for a long time I went on I just I just basically mixed it up again for you this might be a this could be a bit longer than the previous episode. So yeah. See you next week. See you next week.